I'm just packing up some baits here that I got. I'm going to add some crawfish scent to this bait. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for coming in. Appreciate it. Let's see who's in here right now. We got small water. We got we go fishing. What's up? What's up, guys? Thank you for coming in. Hey, we go. Did you go fishing with John and Lindy yet? I didn't know. I didn't see you post anything. Did you guys go fishing yet? I didn't know if you guys caught anything or what. Let me know in the chat if you guys, uh, how you guys did or if you, uh, how you, uh, when you guys went. Got three people in here. I'm just bringing up some, uh, bagging up some, uh, whoo, that crawfish scent is wicked. I'm going to add some more in there. Yeah, that stuff is strong. Just making up some. I'm going to be making some uh, bright pink ripper baits today and bright pink beetle bugs. I'm making some baits for, I believe it's Lane Davies. I think it's Lane Davies. And another guy. What's up? We we're going to see small water charters on Friday. Okay, yeah, I didn't know if you did it already or not, We go. Not sure. I wasn't sure yet because I didn't see any posts or anything. How you like that headlamp I sent you? Do you use that yet? Did you like it? I'm just, uh, I'm not making the baits right this second. I'm just packing up some of my stuff here. I got some. These uh, right here are really cool. They're a sunfish color. They actually have a little green when you look into the light in them. And they're like a yellow. I, either sunset or sunfish, man. I don't know what to call these. But that's a really cool color. And they got black flake in it. They're packed up 12 in a package there. That's a, that's a nice that's a nice color. Then I got some natural worm with a little bit of the green in that. It's it's got that uh, blue crawl effect, but I went a little darker, so it looks natural, like a natural like a brown worm. Didn't send me a headlamp, Ted. What the hell? I didn't send you a headlamp, John. Sorry. Yep, no problem. I'm gonna be sending the other stuff, John. Call them sunfish, the king of baits. <laughs> yeah, but don't you think? What do you think? I mean, that's a nice color. And I come up with colors, and I couldn't tell you the recipe for that. Um, I had some stuff here that I mixed together, and I really like it because when you look into the light, it's got a little bit of the blue crawl in it, which is the uh, dead on plastics. Whoops, the color change, like. Hey, H&S, what's up, brother? Thank you for coming in. It's got like a color change to it, so it's got the sunfish effect, like that green when the sun hits it. It's really cool. Uh, so, but yeah, I got them. They'll be for sale. I'll have them up, or if anybody's interested in them, go to my website. Um, we got four people in. Hey, David, what's up, buddy? Thanks for coming in. But yeah, I, I think I'm going to call that sunfish. There. Or sunset. I think sunfish would be better. So it looks like a sunfish to me. Then I got 12 of the purple. The purple worms. These are uh, scented as well. What did I scent? The, oh, this is cappuccino. No, the sunset sunfish ones are not scented. These ones are cappuccino scented. The purple with the, uh, the gold flake. Then I got some crawfish scented crayfish. Crawfish, crayfish. That's a blue crawl with the orange pinchers. I got some beetle bugs. That's just that in that sun, sunfish color. Little beetle bugs. I got some stingers, some little stingers here. Uh, there's an air bubble in the one, but it won't affect it because you use it on a lead head, so that ain't too bad. There's, there's the stingers right there. And then I have a pack of the natural. These are like really cool looking if you look into the light with them. That's like the... Uh, the blue crawl color. They're brown when you're out of the light, but when you put them in the light, they're like a, almost a see-through, like a bluish green. So that's those. I have those ones, and they will be for sale. If anybody's interested in them, let me know. They may be on my, uh, yeah, Super Swimmers. I got a bunch of your baits, John. I can't wait to use them this year, because I got a bunch of baits. I got the black and blue flake with the chartreuse, and one of these, this one rattles. Uh, is my sound good? I wanted to let you guys know I have another DJI mic. I uh, should be good afternoon. Sun is shining, light winds. Okay, it is crappy here today. The uh, weather here today is dropped in temperature. It was 78 degrees yesterday. Today it's like 40 and raining and gloomy out. 
So, but I have the black and blue flake. I have one of these is the rattle. So, this is uh, another, you know, one that I'm going to be selling here. But that's going to have a rattle in them. Somebody's going to get a special rattle. I'm going to put these in. Just got the notification for this. Cool. At least you got it. So I'm going to put these in this bag here. And I'll probably keep some of these for my $5 sales whenever I do my lives with the $5 baits. $5 shipping, $5 uh, baits. So I'll probably keep some of these. There's a couple of the colors that I'm going to use for my tournament, I think. And I'll show you this other color here in a second. I put a little warm oil in there, and that's the black and blue flake with the chartreuse. Hey, Amber. So I got that and got the new... Got the new hoodie on, got the off the hook down the sleeve, got the off the hook on the back. This is the sun shirt. I think this is what John likes, these sun shirts. It's got the hood on it to put up, so it's got a nice hood. And then I lowered the, it's a little bit lower the, uh, the, um, for the hood. Fisherman Joe, what's up? So, got those. I got some of these little Ned rigs. This is the blue crawl, but brown with purple in it. So I got five of those. They're going in a little little pack here. We're gonna put this scent away because I could smell it. Got eight people in here so far. I'm gonna put a little bit of light worm oil in the bag. I gotta get new bags too. These bags, these small bags. Uh, these small bags, I don't like how they hold the oil. They hold the baits fine, but the, uh, they're not a, like a liquid bag. I gotta get, they're, actually, there are special bait bags, believe it or not, for, uh, for baits. These ones aren't. Now, the other ones will wor work fine. They're bait bags, but these little bags, I thought I can get off easy on them, and I don't know, I mean, if I don't put worm oil in them, they're fine, but I like to add a little bit of worm oil. To the base there's a little ned rigs right there they're brown with the purple they have a little bit of salt in those so they're in there and then these are the ones i think i'm going to use for uh for what my tournament this is heavy salt no rattles heavy salt with purple flake it's like a brown natural i'm going to use that this would be cool with the chartreuse or a pink tail on it as well so i'm going to pack these up um and then my chartreuse pepper baits um john gunner won these so he didn't get back to me yet for his address but he won those baits so hopefully he gets back to me if anybody knows john or talks to john in the live or something let him know that he won my baits i did tag him in in my community post and let him know that he won so hopefully if he sees that and he gets a hold of me so i can send him out the baits he won it on that watch and win with my rattler I love the Stanko. I do. I love it. All right, so there is the brown. I'm going to use that. I just think it's a great all-around lure. Um, I, I can catch fish with it. I'm just a confidence bait. Hey, Chris, how are you, buddy? Thank you for coming in, guys. Appreciate you. Got nine people in here with six likes. If you haven't hit that like button, please do so. And then I am going to, uh, I just want to make an announcement for my angry, my partners. Um, New View got a hold of me and asked me to do some reviews. So I don't, I don't wear their, uh, I don't wear their camo. They have the camo line because I use the Sitka gear. I just got a bunch of Sitka gear this year. But I am going to be using their camo for my son. Uh, I told him, I said, hey, my son can wear your camo and he can wear them in the videos. So they're going to send me an outfit for Theo for this year. So I'm getting a camo outfit for Theo. And I'm getting a backpack to try out. It's a 60 liter backpack. And uh, I'm always looking for backpacks and stuff. So I'm going to try those two products out from New View. So they may be a partner of mine. Hey, Miss Joan, thanks for coming in. And speaking of partners and affiliates, I just wanted to say thank you to Fishaholic. Uh, I wanted to say thank you to Fish Angler, Yolatech, Angler Tungsten. I just ordered some Angler Tungsten swim bait uh, 
jig heads off of them today. Uh, I want to say thank you to Placino. Go over to my links and all these uh, all these partners and affiliates and check out all the information that they have. I have some special uh, uh, discount codes as well in there. Uh, we have Rubline Sense. We have Domain Outdoors LLC. We have Winsent. I actually have a clamp, uh, a GoPro clamp mount for Winsent that I got to do a review on soon. A Lima Shield and then Cam Park. So thank you all got thank you to all my affiliates and partners uh, this year. Uh, I'd also like to thank my sponsors, and that is JJ Jason from JJ Drones. That's Carl from Chilling in Indiana. Carl. That is Dan the Droning Veteran. That is Rick from Big Tiny's Outdoors and Keith Doc Reed are my sponsors for. Uh, that I think this get the sponsors for this month. Uh, Keith and all of them hasn't got a hold of me yet if they want to renew their sponsorship package. So we'll see if they're going to do that. But thank you guys. I appreciate you guys. So what I'm going to do is I got my Pyrex cup here. And I don't have my other camera set up because I'm live on YouTube, not StreamYard. I want to see the difference in the, uh, in the feel. It seems like it's doing okay though. Where is my swim bait? plastic DJs I got my swim bait dead on plastic so I'm mixing that up you want to just shake it up you don't want to shake it to get it all bubbles I really swirl it in the swirl it in the in the jug I'm gonna put some swim bait in here so we got some plastic in here we're gonna do those okay we're gonna fire this up and heat it up what do we got here we got we got the crawl two we got the drop shot finesse and we got the worm blend right now i gotta order some more i gotta order some more plastic so we're gonna put this in and this is just a base this is just a bright pink uh a bright pink bait is what they want so where is the ripper baits and we're doing the ripper baits in bright pink for Blake and Lane Davies, they want bright pink or a bright color. And I'm doing both of them bright pink. And these are the guys that are going to be doing some videos for me for my website. And uh, later on in the season, I will be actually uh, asking more people if they're interested in making a video. And they get the base for free from me if they make the video, the testimonial video. All right, John, have a good, have a good one, buddy. Oh, hey, John, I wanted to also say th happy birthday to John from Small Water Charters. Sorry, John, I didn't announce that first thing. But John is, I'm not telling you his age. VA Velocity, what's up? But it is John's birthday today. So everybody wish John from Small Waters a happy birthday. And maybe he'll get a double-digit birthday fish today when he's out, I hope. So we have that, and then I need the beetle bug mold. And I don't know where the beetle bug mold is, so it's going to take me a second to find it here. There they are, right there. Okay, so we got the beetle bug mold going. Glacier Shark, what's up, bro? Yep. Who else was in here? DJs, what's up, DJs? V8 Velocity, everybody, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Remember, go over to my website, offthehookoutdoors.us. Go into the description of this video. At least look at my stuff. At least spend the time just to browse through it. Lance, what's up? A Hawaiian fisherman. Good morning. Go over to my description. I put a lot of time and effort into my description. Oh, browse through. Click on the websites. Look through the stuff. You, something will catch your eye. I think I believe so. Let's go over there. Check it out. And if any of those links you're interested in. Uh, make sure you use any of my codes that I have up there too because I have a lot of codes on there and uh, so I try to put that out there for you guys if you guys want something or uh, and I could save you a couple bucks on things then by all means use my code and uh, that also will help me with the companies that I am partnered and affiliated with hey woman outdoors how are you we're gonna try to shoot I think I could shoot off both of these baits at the same time we're going to try to do both at the same time. We're going to try to do both of them. So let's see. I got this. They're in there now. We got the hot plastic. And I, I'm sorry I don't have my other camera hooked up. 
But uh, I just wanted, I went through YouTube. You can't use another. Hey, Crossover, what's up, brother? Thank you for coming in. You can't use the uh, two camera with the YouTube stream here. So, But I'll show you. I got the clear plastic right now. This isn't totally ready yet. It still needs some heat to it. So uh, we're going to be uh, adding some fluorescent pink to it. Some fluoro pink from Do It Molds. This is pretty close to being ready. So we got that pink and we got bubble gum. We got bubble gum as well, but we're putting in some fluorescent pink today. So we're going to do this up real quick here. And I think this pink is going to need a lot of it. So we'll see how that looks. Yeah, and it's very light. Very, very light. So we're definitely going to want to add a lot more to this. So that's one thing about these bright fluorescents. You need a lot of colorant to put in there to get them solid. Uh, you don't want them translucent, you know what I mean? So... I need some more. And yeah, this is going to take a lot. <coughs> I think we got it right there. That's about is what we want right there. I'm going to have to order some more pink. Try to get every last drop of this pink out of here. Because I got... Uh, they have a couple different... Uh, a couple different... Um, what do I want to say? They have a couple different styles. Thank you. Hunting and stuff. I appreciate that. Trying to scrape the bottom on see if it'll work there we go now we're getting somewhere the bottom of this pink is a little bit not hard i don't want to say it's hard but it, it it gets to the bottom of it and it's really a uh really a pain in the butt <laughs> believe it or not so there we go and i'll show you this pink color in a second here guys just want to get that all cleaned up for you keith doc reed what's up brother thank you for coming in appreciate you um i know you got the sponsor package off me last month i didn't know if you were uh i just want i put that other one out for the month of april here so if you're interested in getting another sponsor package off me uh keith i appreciate the one you got so thank you very much mbp m g b p fishing let me see i'm sorry if i messed that up it is MBP Fishing. Thank you for coming in. I'm doing some baits today. Some uh, fluorescent pink baits for a couple people that are uh, can actually uh, make a... Uh, here's the pink right here, guys. Got the fluorescent pink. That's a really nice color there. Really nice. So I'm going to use this to shoot right now we're gonna shoot this and we're shooting this in the beetle bugs and the ripper baits so we'll see how it shoots right now Okay, fill the sprues up, and we will see how that shoots. All right, now let's get back to the chat here.
Okay, no problem. You can do that. The sponsor package key. Just do what you did before. Same thing. It's your initials. Okay. MBP fishing. No problem. Um, yeah, Keith, just do it the same way you did it before if you want, and we'll get you going. But I appreciate you. Usually at the beginning, it, it wasn't, it's not really a monthly thing, but it seems like it turned out to be that way. Everybody re renews it at the beginning of the month. I mean, it makes it easier for me, but I don't want, it don't have to be the beginning of the month. Uh, it can be whenever. And, and the reason why I did that is because, you know, people share each other out. And that's what I do. If you become a sp you know, sponsor of my channel, you go on all my videos, you get tagged in everything that I do. I share your stuff out. Um, and you get the, you know, one pack of baits for the uh, three week, two packs of baits for the... Uh, other one, well, that's not a bubble gum, that's fluorescent. This is bubble gum right here. If you look at that, that's the bubble gum color right there. Bubble gum is a lot lighter. That's a fluorescent pink. This is bubble gum. This is almost a bubble gum color right here. If you look at that, that's a bubble gum color. But it just seems to make it easier for people. And it's a lot easier for me. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to make this so if somebody comes out with a video video to be shared out and pushed out and you know I want my name up there and somebody else is sharing me out consistently uh, because you know share us out all you want a lot of people don't a lot of channels don't do that or they forget or something uh, but with me if you get that sponsor channel that sponsor package I share you out with everything you know what I mean and I tag you in on everything as well so you don't have to worry about that and that's just a good thing and it's you're not committed to a membership from YouTube like a uh, a monthly membership where it comes out of your it comes out every month it's only when you want to do it you want to do a two week a three week or a four week sponsorship package and that's it you know what I mean uh, and I have some people that are constantly doing it like uh, the droning veterans been doing it for a while Carl's been doing it and Jason's been doing it uh, every month at the beginning of the month they just renew it and then they have four weeks they get their bait packages and all that stuff sent out to them so uh, and I know Keith I think you mentioned last time you wanted some smaller stuff for this so it's usually I just make them oh yeah that looks good look at that that's the ripper baits the pink ripper baits right there so we're gonna put that out there yeah that shot really well guys really well so I'm happy about that let me cut these up and put these out and these are going to Lane Davies and Blake and I don't know, I can't remember Blake's last name, but Lane Davies, I remember that one. But we're going to put these little, these ripper baits out there, that fluorescent pink. They like the fluorescent pink. So we're going to do that. And I can't remember which one gets what, but they're going to be sent out. And also I have Rich from Owl's Nest uh, getting the eye crawls off me. And I have yet to know what, I'll probably make his this weekend, the eye crawls, so... We got the beetle bugs right here. That's the beetle bugs. So we're going to put them out. I'm going to just twist these. These are so small. I can just twist them and they break off really nice. So they're pretty consistent. I don't have to cut these because they come off the, uh, the sprue really well. So... But yeah, guys, I did some trout fishing this past weekend with my son and my family. Uh, I did pretty good. Theo did great. He got his PB. He got his uh, PB rainbow, a 19 and a half inch. So that was really cool. So, but yeah, there's the beetle bugs right there. And if that's the kind of stuff you want, Keith, uh, I can do that for you. No problem. Give you the smaller stuff like the panfish style baits, crappy baits and things like that. So, for sure, get back on it. Uh, I got video premiering tonight, guys. It's 7 p.m. I got it premiering on YouTube and Facebook. Um, I Up there, that, that's the natural pond. They're natural spring ponds up there. They're not streams. There's streams up there, but all the streams are blown out in PA this past weekend. I felt bad for the fishermen that had their kids out there, but there were some fish caught. Don't get me wrong. There's some fish that were caught, but it was just, it was blown out pretty good in PA, the streams. Those natural spring ponds were green. They look beautiful. 
and uh, they were hitting, they weren't hitting on any lures. Usually I do really good on the Phoebe lure or like a Joe's fly or rooster tails or something like that. Uh, but they weren't hitting on any of that stuff. The trout magnet, little Rapala type deal, trout magnets are really good with that too, but they weren't hitting it. So we used the chunky cheese, the gulp chunky cheese. I threw it on the bottom and we caught, a t I caught a ton of fish. Uh, and my son caught that, his PB rainbow. So that was really cool. It made the whole trip worth it when he caught that one. And he caught it the first, I swear it was the first 10 minutes we were there. I think uh, my sister was there, Ace was there, Uncle Tom was there a little bit fishing. Uh, my dad ended up going with us too. And he caught some fish on the live. So if you haven't got, if you guys haven't checked out our lives, uh, the two lives from trout, it's, it's just made, one is trout fishing in Seven Springs and the other one is trout fishing, I think on opening day or something. So go check those lives out. And I just posted uh, the second live last night. I just shared it out with people. Uh, uh, it's been on my YouTube channel, so just so you guys know that. But yeah, that's the fluorescent pink right there. That's the, the puck or the plug is what you want to call it. So we're going to shoot those right now. I might do some fluorescent pink. Uh, I might do some fluorescent pink Cinco's too. I don't know. Let's we'll see if I have enough juice in here. But I'm just shooting these baits for now. And we're going to see, uh, see what I have left anyway. Okay, constant pressure, fill the sprue up, and dump the rest in the cup, and we are good. We'll let them sit out. But that's just the plain, 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 plain fluorescent pink. I bet that would be good fluorescent pink and white or something. I don't know. But I got to order... I gotta write down what I need. I need fluorescent pink from Do It Molds. I gotta write myself a note, guys. I'm getting old. I gotta write myself some notes. So I need some color colors. I need white. I need flow pink. What else do I need? I don't think I need any black. Then on plastics, purple I got, I got the lime green. I think I'm good on just about everything else. This sour grape one's really nice too. I might add this sour grape to that pink when I'm done and make a make a stick bait out of it. So but colors I need, colors to order. Order. Yeah, and that's what I mean. I'm always ordering stuff from them too. So like I said, any donations or any super chats or anything goes back into it so I can and I order new materials and things like that out of it. You know what I mean? So. But yeah, check us out on Roku TV as well. If you guys have a, a smart TV and you have the Roku, uh, you can go over there. It's free. You can watch me on actual TV, which is really cool. So I have that going. All my, all my affiliates and partners in the description. I got my new apparel store. That's what this is right here. I'll lower this a little bit so you can see the apparel. I got the off the hook on the sleeve. I got the logo on the back. So that's pretty cool. I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, we're going to take these out here. Close this up real quick. Pull, pull these out. Let's pull the beetle bugs out first. They shot really nice again. Here's the beetle bugs. Butt down. Yeah, that is that the small water charters? Was that the live or the uh, video from that one? 
when my son, when Lindia said, butt down to my son, meaning to put the fishing rod down, and he went to sit down. It was funny. So that was the butt down video. <laughs> yeah, I just got, uh, yesterday I just got sent to me too. I've been waiting for the, I got the liquid trophy rock uh, finally in the mail. Um, Redmond hunting, they, I mean, they hooked me up this year with the, uh, the minerals and stuff. So we're set for the off season. I think I got like 10 bags of trophy rock liquid. Uh, it's a concentrate that you have to add water to. And it's nice because it comes in a bag with the powder and you can take it in the woods with you. And if there's a creek or stream, you can use that water. Um, I recommend you doing that anyway, or using some other kind of water. Don't use like tap water with chlorine and stuff in it. I mean, I'm sure people do that, and I'm sure it works. I just get a little crazy with the uh, with the chlorine and the tap water and stuff like that. I'd, I'd rather use uh, creek water or pond water or something natural uh, to do. So let's see how these turned out. This one. Let's see how they look. This one's good. I think I got an air bubble in the one here. That one looks good to me. This one don't look good. That's going back in to get reshot again. There was an air bubble in there. I heard the air bubble actually. And this one looks good. So we got that one in there. So we got two out of three good ones. But that's that's what I do. I check them. You know, sometimes some stuff slips through. Or, uh, you know, if I have a sale on some, you know, baits oops i call them oops baits <laughs> if they mess up then i uh, i'll sell them but like a color that i don't like or something that didn't work out i'll sell them as oops baits and uh they're a little cheaper that way and i mean they're they're still catch fish don't get me wrong it's just the colors that i didn't like or i didn't uh you know didn't match up right or something like that uh but i sell the oops baits like that and i won't sell you anything that's not gonna work you know like if there's air pockets and some things or something like that then i'll definitely uh i will definitely do the uh you know do the uh re you know reorder or send them back out to you if you didn't like them if there's something wrong with them but if, if i missed them or something like that i like that my daughter and my son helping me with this at least packaging the baits up and stuff but they're so busy with school and with their uh activities that it's so hard to get uh got one one two what do we got here hold on one second guys okay we got 20 there so we're good on the beetle bugs we're gonna change this up here i'm gonna make i think i'm gonna make something really crazy with the fluorescent pink i'll make it for you guys right now after i get these uh bait shot here I gotta do 30 seconds start. The beetle bugs are done. Put that over there. So I'm hey Ted and Chad. Hey Monica, how are you? Thank you for coming in. Appreciate you. We're just hanging out making some baits for some uh, some channels that want to do a review on my baits and do a testimonial. So I just figured I'd go live. I 11 o'clock live so just hanging out chatting with people so i'm glad you came in thank you monica i appreciate you i'm trying to think what i can do with that fluorescent pink what do you guys think of fluorescent pink what's up rocco thanks for coming in. what do you guys think of uh what do you think would be a good match? That fluorescent pink with a lime green? Or do you think the fluorescent green with the chartreuse? Or the fluorescent pink? Okay, Monica, thank you for coming in. I'm glad you chose to come hang out with me today. Uh, what do you guys think with that fluorescent pink? you think I should do a lime green? Or do you think I should do a chartreuse? Let me know what you guys think. Hey, Mr. Tully, thank you for coming in. You think the lime green with the pink? Okay, Monica, we'll go with you. You were the first one. So we'll go with the lime green and the pink. How's that? Maybe we'll do a laminate. 
We'll do lime green and pink laminate. That'd be kind of a cool color. Lime green, Mr. Tully said as well. So we'll do the lime green. I'll do a laminate. Let me shoot these pink ones here real quick. I gotta shoot three more of these. At least, at least three more of these, Monica. Yes, for sure. For sure. That's why I asked and uh, she delivered. So we will use the lime, pink, lime, and pink. Ah, thank you, Monica. I appreciate you. Thank you very much. Thank you with the boom, boom. Thank you very much. All right, so we might as well get the lime green ready here. Let me uh, clean this cup out. That That's shooting right now. We're going to use the lime green, but we're going to clean it out with simple green. Lime green, simple green. So we're going to do the old cup cleaning out. This gets all the, that simple green gets all the gunk, gunk and all the stuff out of the cups for me. And it works really well. Sometimes you got to give it a couple shots. Thank you, Monica. I really appreciate you. So there we go. We're going to put that in there. Let's get all this. Because sometimes that glitter and stuff will stick in there. And I can't stand when there's like one or two pieces of glitter. Green is always a go. Okay. Makes sense. Green is a great fishing color. And that lime green will be a great attractant. Just a, you know, crazy color anyway. I think it'll be, I think it's going to look nice. So, if you guys, I'm going to try to get this done for you, Monica. So you can see it at least. Or if not, come back and hit the replay. And check it out. Okay, we're going to do this. We're going to add some worm blend to this cup get rid of that leave that over there we're going to do some worm blend this is a brand new one here green is my favorite let me catch the chat here real quick green is my favorite i did a painting with 12 greens one time that's cool you guys haven't checked out Monica's artwork, please go over and check it out. I have not bought a piece off you yet, Monica, and I need to get something off you. I do. You're such a great supporter. I need to buy something off you. And I like your work. It ain't just because you get me. It's I do like your work. It's awesome. I'd like to do something like fishing related or like hunting related. That would be pretty cool. So if you have any ideas, Monica, let me know what kind of ideas. And whenever you have time, maybe you can make me a piece up and I'll get it off you. Okay, so we got the worm blend in there. Okay, let me get the pink all ready here. Get that piece of glitter off of that pink. Put the pink in there. I'm going to cut this pink up. I'm going to do the lime green and pink. It's going to be a crazy color. But I'll tell you what, though, it'll be an eye-catching color for sure. And I'm sure this would work in stained water. Clear water, I may, it may scare the fish away in the clear water. I don't know. But it may also attract them. So who knows? So let me get this done. Let me pull these out of here. Get these swim baits out. See how they took. Looks like they took really well. Yeah, they took pretty good. So let's see here. Clip. Clip. Let me check these real quick here. That one, good. This one is good. And I'm in the process of making a hanging rack as well on here. All right, so if you guys get a chance, share this out so people come in. I'd really appreciate that. i get some people in here today. It would be awesome. I, I do appreciate each and every one of you spending some time with me today. And we got that hang cut up. Okay, so now, 
the ripper baits are good. We got eight baits. Okay, so we got the eight ripper baits. That's going to one of the guys. And we're going to do... Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to oil my worm, my worm mold up here, my Sanko mold. There's a piece of blue glitter in there. Get that off of there. So we're going to get the worm mold all lubed up here. Okay. We're going to put this on for two minutes. Two minutes. See what this looks like. I never did this before. So, Oh, I've done laminates. i just never done the... Uh, where's the laminate plate side? i got to get my laminate plate here. Jerk bait laminate and the Senko laminate plate. Put that up there. We're going to take this and get clean this off. We're going to take the laminate plate. Line it up. This is kind of a pain in the butt a little bit. So we're going to line it up like that. Let me see here. What are we doing here? What am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong, guys? Oh. Duh. Hold on, guys. Let me get... Sanko plate. Where's that jerk bait plate at? Okay. Okay. That's almost done, guys. So let's get this on here. Get it ready to roll. It's got to be perfect. Okay, so we are going to add, I'm going to get my other mixing thing, because thanks hunting and stuff, I hope. Okay, so we're mixing this up. This is getting all nice, and this really clear, too. That's a good color. This is a great plastic. That on plastic is awesome. Okay, now we're going to do the lime green. And then we'll see how much lime green we need. And I'll show you the process. We're going to do that much for now, just to see what it looks like. I'm going to go a little darker. Thank you. Okay, we got a little darker. And I'll show you guys what it looks like here. So here is the lime green. That's the lime green. Okay. So since we have this ready to roll, I'm going to put it in for another, eh, another 10, let's put it in for that many seconds. <laughs> Get the pink off of the injector. And we're going to inject the lime green first, I think. Okay, let's do this. Let's put the pink in here and put that on a minute. Clear. And put it on 45 seconds. Okay, guys, we're going to do the lime green first. See what it looks like. Okay, the lime green is done. We gotta let that set up now because this is a laminate. Let's go to the live chat, see if I missed anybody. We got Monica in here talking. We got seven people in here. Great to have you guys in here. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. 
Monica's talking it up with hunting and stuff and Chris. Mixing this up is fluorescent pink now. Now there's a little bit of a process to this with the laminate, so I'm going to show you guys. Real quick here. Is that... Okay. You're better, but work is busy. Yeah, how are you doing, Monica? Let's see what happens here. Let's do this and get this uh, get this going here. So we got the lime green done. Ooh, that's a little bit hot still. Whew. That's the warm plastic. Put that in there like that. This thing is hot. Hey, Amanda, how are you? Thank you for coming in. I appreciate you. We're just making some baits. We made some fluorescent pink baits you may like. We made some ripper baits, sort of like the ones that I made you last time. But there's some fluorescent pink ripper baits right here. And we got some fluorescent pink beetle bugs. Okay, that goes down there, goes on there, then this gets thrown away. Get another uh, piece of paper towel. You go through a lot of paper towels doing this. <laughs> if you went with if we're rags, you'd be going through some looks like. So let's see how this works. Let's see how this came out. So I gotta lay that flat. Back in the gotta get them back in there. The half of them anyway. Put that half back in. They got some twisted. That's these can be a pain in the butt, 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 butt. Now I gotta cut them. I'm cutting uh, the side off of them there. I'm putting them back in the way they need to be. These can be a pain in the butt. And push them down. Push everything down in there, get them back sealed up. Okay. Everything seems like it's in. I think. This one needs to be moved down a little bit. Okay, so that's that. We're going to fold this up and we're going to put it in. T tighten it up. And I'm talking to myself too, guys. I talk when I work by myself. <laughs> so we've got that going there. Got the laminate plate, put some oil on there. I might have to re-oil that up. Put this on for 20 seconds. Get the pink going here. We'll see what it looks like. Another paper towel. Let's see how they look. And I'm shooting the pink right now, guys. I shot the lime green, now I'm shooting the pink. Hold that down so that fuses with the other side. I don't know how this is going to turn out, so we'll see. Hey, Hitch, what's up, buddy? Thank you for coming in. <clears throat> Making some... What I did today was I made some baits for some channels that want to do... That uh, offered to do a testimonial, so I gave them some free baits. But we got the fluorescent pink ripper bait that I made for Lane Davies, I believe. And I made some smaller baits, some beetle bugs for another guy named Blake. So he got the beetle bugs there. These beetle bugs got the little, the little appendages there. The two little appendages. They're not. They're sticking together there. But that's the beetle bugs. They're a great crappy and panfish bait. So we're sending them out. And then I got Owl's Nest. Rich from Owl's Nest wants my eye crawl. So I'm going to send him the eye crawl. And I'm going to be doing that this year again. I'm going to be asking people if they'd like to do a testimonial video for my website. And uh. Once you make the video, you tag me in the video, put it on your channel, 
and then I take that video and put it on my website and then anybody that clicks on it on my website you still get the watch time and everything Lane is awesome yeah Lane Davies he's an awesome kid I I believe I don't even know how old he is hitch I don't know if you know him well or not but uh he seems like an awesome kid And I, I really like that with the kids getting involved and stuff like that. So I don't mind doing it for the kids. Now, don't get me wrong. Some of the kids that I offer to do stuff for, they text me and call me every day. <laughs> but uh, sexier. What's sexier mean? Oh, sexy. Okay. They will be sexier. More sexy. <laughs> Laugh out loud. Let's see. Okay, so there is the lime green, which I don't like the way it come out. The one did, all right. I got to add more lime green, though. I got to add more lime to it. So we're going to take these. Well, these are going to be your... That's the lime green there. The lime... But it's. I think I got to make it darker. So there is the... Hey, what's up, Matt? That is the lime green. So that pink and lime green. I'm going to actually add more lime green to that. I don't like the way they turned out. So let me add more green to this. I'm going to use this again. I'm going to really make it darker this time. The lime green for sure. Let me get this all set up again. Okay. Now we're going to add some more lime green to this because I think that I'm going to heat this up. And add it. I'm gonna make it a little dark. I'm gonna make it a lot more less translucent. I'm gonna make it more solid. So we're gonna do that again. Because I don't like the way that looked. It's just a little bit too light for me. Sour apple or watermelon. Yeah, and that's that's what that I think it needs to be darker. But that's a laminate right there. It needs to be darker, guys. And do you see the pink in that? See how nice the pink is? Dark the pink is on that and how light it is. But it makes the everything, it changes colors. When you add colors on colors, that, uh, that definitely is a, uh, you know, cha it changes it. So I'm going to put the pink in there. Get the pink out of there. So we want to keep that. We're going to keep these on the side here. It's a cool color, don't get me wrong. But we're going to darken that green up. We're going to add a lot more green to that. So let's do more lime. More lime green, definitely. Make it a lot more. I'm going to make it a lot darker. And I'm kind of liking that better right there. Okay, so we're going to heat that baby up. Again, I'm going to put another, you know what, I'm going to put another dot in there. Okay, let me do another dot. Heat it up, and we're going to shoot the lime green again. I want you guys to get a good, good look at it anyway, you know. Put it on for 20 seconds. Clean this up. Put it back. The lime green can go there. Take this off of here get the pink out of there cut that pink up okay now we're going to shoot the lime green again guys Let's see how it looks hey quarters what's up did i miss someone in there Hitch, Monica, Menzer Outdoors. What's up, buddy? Thank you for coming in, man. I appreciate you. You've been doing a lot of stuff, a lot of content out there, man. If anybody hasn't checked out Menzer Outdoors, go over and check him out. He's doing a lot of cool stuff over there. All right, so we're going to take this, shoot this again. This is the darker lime green this time. Ok, 
Okay, so let's see how that sets up. And they go, because there's a lot of coloring in that. So that's going to take some time to set up. And that, this, this is the warm blend. I'm mixing this up pretty good here. And sometimes I'll mix it upside down to get the stuff off the bottom. Okay, so we're going to let that sit a little longer. I want that to set up a little more. Here's the lime green here. See how dark it is now? It's a, a lot. It's not as translucent. So that's going to go back in the cup. Let's see what happens with that. But yeah, that was a pretty cool color, but it's just too light for me. It's, it's almost, you can see through it. It's like, eh, I don't like it don't like it and it got messed up a little bit the way it shot which i wasn't too thrilled about that either yeah vacuum definitely helps decompression chamber <laughs> vacuum chamber for sure i'll be getting one soon because i'm going to be starting to pour my own second green is way but yeah it's way better um these are the fluorescent pink ripper baits that i just shot a little bit ago and then i shot the beetle bugs in a fluorescent pink as well um, so I'm letting this sit up a little longer because I wanted to make sure it's good. Uh, and then I got some baits here for sale if anybody's interested. I got the brown, the brown with the purple. Yeah, the vacuum pot, Monica, what that does is that takes all the air out of the plastic. And it actually will remove some of the moisture in your plastic. When you have plastic sitting around, it gets moisture in it, which causes air bubbles. So there's a vacuum. It's like a big crock pot. And you put it in and it, has, and it sucks the air out and it takes all the air out of your material as well there's the blue crawl ones that's really nice uh these are the sunfish ones the sunfish color with the black flake i got the purple and then i got the crawfish with the orange claws uh yeah what i said it, it takes it out it takes all the air out of the plastics now i'm going to get that when i start pouring my own plastics uh, you can use it when you're shooting plastics like this as well, but I got to make some room here. But when I start hand pouring my own plastic uh, swim baits, which is a lot different. Yeah, the white and the uh, pink, but uh, that, 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 I call it a decompression chamber. It's not, it's a vacuum chamber and that takes out the air and everything. And it makes your baits look really, really clean. Uh, and when you're pouring hand pours, swim baits, there, you use a lot more plastic and you don't want to mess up because you're combining colors like you're making laminates and things by hand pouring them So and they're way more expensive So you don't want to mess it up, but you want to have great plastic You don't want to have the air bubbles and stuff in those swim baits to make them look clear and really nice uh, The way they're supposed to look you need a you need a chamber for sure So make sure uh, I'll be getting one of them soon Okay, let's see here so that can go there. Let me take this out of here. This uh, this warm plastic with all the color in it, it gets really, 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 really finicky. With uh, it's soft. So I take that thing through there, remove all this. I use a little wooden dowel for my paintbrush. Put that on there that in there and then I need another paper towel guys and I'm letting this set up a little longer because I want it to be sort of not cured it won't it, it takes 24 hours to be cured but it, it just I wanted it to sit longer than three minutes just to show you this because the last ones didn't turn out real well and then once I get no plastic left, then I, what I'll do is I'll combine them. And then I'll make another color from them. Okay, so let's see here now. Let me take this out. Get this off of here. Okay, now that took way better. Okay, I'll show you something. Get this laminate plate off of here. Let me cut these out of here now. Now. 
There's a lot of messing around with these when you're doing laminates. That's why they're a little more expensive. <laughs> so that goes back in there. Have everything nice and tight down in there. Close this up. Let's put this on 30 seconds. Let's get that going. And then we're going to make this tight. Put this lime green over here. And we'll probably make a pack of eight of these. These are only four, so I'll probably shoot another one of these. If anybody has any questions or anything, please feel free to, you know, let me know if you have anything you want to talk about or ask me. Pretty soon we're going to be opening up the lake house, so that'll be pretty exciting. I'm going to get that all rolling. Uh, and I'll be doing my bass fishing. Soon. I got a video premiering tonight guys if anybody's interested in stopping in. I'd really appreciate it uh, It's how to fix your rod tip uh, I'm I got a kit and I my son broke his rod tip. He messed his rod tip up his eye So I'll show you how to replace an eye the easy way. I Work on all my stuff. I don't send it out or anything. I try to fix it myself All right, I'm just mixing this up. This is going to need some more time in the microwave here. But yeah, I get a little crazy with the stuff. Like, I would either first try it or not try it. You know, if nobody tried it. All right, Monica, are you out of here already? I guess you're uh, back to work, huh? We will see you. Monica, have a great day. Okay, dang, I got to get back to making that money. How funny, all blessing. Thank you, Monica. I appreciate you. For those who haven't checked out Monica's channel, go over there and check it out. You won't be disappointed. Let's see if this is done yet. Uh, getting there. Yeah, I think we're good. I'm just going to mix this up a little bit. And uh, the air bubbles, too, will naturally come out of the plastic when you're doing this. But you don't want to mix it real vigorously. You don't want to create air bubbles. So I mix it slowly. And the air bubbles will come out. Okay. Let's see here. Okay, we're going to hold this down now. And the pink, I'm running out of pink, so I got to order more pink, chartreuse, and white. Okay, so we have that done. I gotta add that to my list. Chartreuse as well. So I definitely need that. So I'll make an order for do it molds. I'll get some fluorescent pink. I'm gonna check out also I'm gonna check out the dead on plastic, see what they got for fluorescent colors there. MF has some good colors as well. I got MF colorants as well here. MF, I got do it mold. I got bait plastics colors. I got do it molds. All right, man. Thank you. And then I got dead on plastics colors. So we'll see what uh. That one has some weird names for their plastics and stuff, so you gotta watch when you're ordering because you order the wrong stuff. Okay, so that's that. Yeah, I wish that would have turned out better, but it it just it looks okay. It's light, but it's not it's not real great. A little too light for me. See how this turns out here. Give it a little more time. But yeah, guys, go over, check out the descriptions of my videos. Um, I'm thinking about giving away my Ice Fox GoPro camera. It's not a GoPro, it's an Ice Fox camera like a GoPro. I'm thinking about giving that away. 
Uh, and so keep an eye out for that. I've also got a reel here that I'm going to be giving away soon, too. That'll probably be a watch and win video. Um, the, the Ice Fox, I may do something with a giveaway with that. Uh, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do yet, but I may... I think I'm going to give that camera away. It's a good camera, don't get me wrong. It doesn't have the stability as a GoPro, but it's a great camera if you don't have one and you want to start out and get used to it. Very easy to use. So I may be giving that camera away. Let's see. Oh yeah, these are way better. So there you go. So there is the pink and green. That's an awesome color. I'm going to shoot that again, guys, and have a pack of these. Let me just cut these off here, like so. Put this down, and that is the green and the pink. That's awesome color there, guys. That's way better. That's a nice color. That green held out nice. So we got the green and the pink. And the fluorescent pink and like the green, you add that and it changes the colors of the pink. It ain't like fluorescent, fluorescent pink like it is, but that's because of the green. That's just the way it is with the colors. You can't help that though. You know, it's color on color. So whatever, you know, it's almost like mixing colors together in a way. So let's do this again. Get this lined up. Get that in there. We're going to get the lime green going again. Heat this up. 45 seconds. Start that up. But yeah, that's a definitely a way better, uh, way better color there. Let's cut this up. The pink. If I have any pink left over, I'll probably make Lane Davies an extra, an extra couple baits or something. Okay, we got that, guys. We're going to shoot that green again. And I'll probably shoot. Hey, fishing time, let's go. What's up, brother? Haven't seen you in a while. Thank you for coming in, man. I appreciate you. Hit that like button if you haven't. Really appreciate you. Okay, let's get this green going again, guys. pink back in there let's get this green going okay let's get that off of there that get hard there for a second. Little mishap with the with the colorant. Blew out of the it blew out of the uh the mold a little bit, so gotta get that cleaned up. This stuff is hot too, guys. You can't really grab it with your finger. And once you get it on your fingers, it ain't coming off until it dries, which hurts. <laughs> so I'm just playing with it. And that's that's one thing that I don't mind messing things up a little bit to try different things <laughs> so okay i have to clean my scissors off a lot of plastic gets wasted too <laughs> so yep i appreciate you guys coming in man i really do spending this morning with me is awesome i do appreciate each and every one of you guys yeah, man, I got a lot of exciting stuff coming up for fishing. It's going to be pretty awesome, so. This green is pain in the butt. There we go. Got most of it off now. Pain in the butt, but that's because I used a lot of coloring in there and not much plastic. So it gets a little crazy with working with it. It's a lot harder. 
but I think that looks way better, that green with that pink. So, and they're all for sale, guys. If anybody's interested in buying anything, go to my website or, and when I do, uh, I do bait sales as well. I'll do lives with the uh, $5 shipping, $5 baits, packs of baits. So keep an eye out for that as well. I got a bunch of baits here that I'm going to be putting on there as well. I may use some of these baits for giveaways and things like that for watching wins. Hey, ugly dog. Hey, Charlie. How are you, sir? Nice to see you. I'm glad you came in. How are you? We're just making some crazy baits today. I made some baits for some channels that uh, want to do a review on my baits and they're going to do a testimonial. I made some ripper baits and I believe, Charlie, you got the white ones off me before, but these are the ripper baits. Well, that's good to hear, Charlie. I appreciate you coming in. Good to hear. And then I made, I just made these lime green and pink. So you could see the lime green with the pink on it. It's just a wacky color. And then I also made the little, little beetle bugs. Yeah, you love the rippers? That's good. I just ordered some uh, jig heads because I'm going to make some ripper baits for my, uh, for my tournament June 9th. It's a real big tournament. There's like 300 boats in it. And uh, we do pretty well up there. It's not a big fish lake. Uh, if you catch a four or five pounder, you're in the money. Uh, there's a lot of two, one and two pounders in this lake. But they have some small mouth up there. And I'll be using some, uh, some uh, what is that called? The forward facing sonar. I can't remember what it's, how it's called. But uh, we got my buddy, I, I, gave, I sold my buddy of my boat, and he put the Garmin on it, and he's got the, uh, the uh, forward-facing sonar, so we're going to try that out and see. But I'm going to try to get some, uh, try to get some smallmouth. A lot, a lot of people don't turn in smallmouth up there, so we're going to head for, uh, we're going to catch, we're going to go for the largemouth first if we don't do real well, or if we catch them. Then we're going to go hit some smallmouth at the dam, some deeper water, and try to uh, get that. So, we're going to do some uh, good stuff with that. So, but I don't know how I feel about it. With the sonar and stuff like that. We'll see. A lot of people like it. There we go, got that stuff out of there. We're going to let this sit a little longer because it's that green. So we definitely want it to sit. Okay, come on, clean off there. Cleaning off all my stuff because it gets messy. Definitely gets messy. There we go. Get all that stuff off. Yeah, he just got the garment. They have the Lorances and the Hummingbirds. Hummingbird is the originator, and they say that they have people that get the Garmin's. They actually buy some th something with a Hummingbird that uh, makes that. I'm, I haven't really looked into it much because I really haven't felt the need to use it. Uh, and like I said, people get too crazy with it. <laughs> so, but we're gonna try it out. I'm gonna try it out. See how I like it on my old boat. My new boat don't have it. I have Hummingbirds on my new boat. So, but we'll see how it turns out, see what we can do, see how it works. Um, and uh, go after some smallmouth with it. That's what we're going to try to do. Go after the smallies with it. And that's why I want the ripper baits with the jig head so I could throw them to them as well. I have the side imaging and stuff on my helixes, down imaging, side imaging, and uh, what is that, the hot fire or something like that. I have that on my hummingbird right now, but meh. Love catching small eggs. Yeah, small eggs are good. Okay, so we're going to take these green ones out. I'm going to fix... 
these scissors real quick because they had stuff all over them. Bait making can be messy. One mess up and it spills everywhere. <laughs> Okay, let's get the pink out, and this pink's going to need some more time in, in the hair again. So we're going to do this. Put it back in again for about 30 seconds. Get another paper towel out. Clean this all off. Keep it clean. Take the green out again. Okay, we got that. And then I'm going to wipe this off. The oil off of there. This would be the last one to shoot with that. Get these and snip them. I'm just snipping off the plastic because you got to take the sprue out of them. So I'm snip that off. Close that back up, put that back in, and then we're going to shoot the plastic. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I haven't fished Erie either in a while. Uh, usually I'll go up there and fish the, uh, the back channels for largemouth with frogs because it's really good because it gets overlooked up there, but that's a smally lake, and uh, I may try to get up there this year and do some smallmouth fishing for that world-class smallies up there, you know? Especially if I get in a tournament, like an internet tournament, I might do that. Shane Flint tournament, and maybe I'll go up there and do that with that too as well. Okay, so we got the pink in there. Now what we're going to do is I have a little bit of pink left, okay? But what I have is I have these baits that were messed up. These green baits, they see how they light they are? I'm adding this color into that pink. And I'm going to cut this up and I'm going to melt them into there. And we're going to get another bait. And it'll be a great panfish color. It's still going to, you know, it'll still work for panfish and stuff like that. So you don't really waste much now there's some colors that don't work good with others so you got to watch what you uh what you use but this pink with this light green in here mixed in won't really affect it too much so we're going to use that in there and melt that as well That's going to melt in there nicely. And we're going to get the other ones out here soon. Let me get this green and pink out of here. See if this is ready yet. Yeah, you don't want to ever push this injector out and uh, get it all over your hands because it burns, 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 burns. <laughs> okay, so that is that right there. So what do you guys got planned for the weekend? Anything coming up this weekend? I don't have, well, I have a work detail down at my camp. We're going down to cut grass. I got to put up some lights. And then uh, we're going to clear out some more apple trees. And we're going to put out in the, our last months of deer feed in our feeder down there. And, and that'll be April. Then may we leave it go and let that, uh, let it set. You know, we take it, the feeders out in April because, or in May. And then we let the deer just use the browse and stuff that's down there. Okay, let's see what this looks like. OK. 
Okay, so we have one blowout. And this is what happens. Sometimes it'll blow out like that. Okay. They have a Chico Outdoors thing here, too. I was going to go to that for Rubline Sense. They wanted me to work it. But I don't think I'm going to be able to get up there to do it. So we'll see. But there's one green and pink one. That one turned out well. This one, we had one blowout in there. So we're going to sell a pack of these for five bucks, probably. That'll be that. And then this one's blown out. So we're going to cut this up, put it back in there. Cut this up, put it back in there. And then, what I'm going to do, guys, is all I'm doing is combining it. I'm going to combine, I'm going to make this three. We're going to combine the pink and the green together, all in one, because I don't have no, that much plastic of each. So I'm going to combine both colors, and we're going to see what we get out of it. But you can see what the lime green does to the pink. See how that is, and see how that is? That's the same color. But the grime green transforms that fluorescent pink. So what we're going to do is we're going to add. We're going to add. That's awesome. Yeah, I, I never went to I never went to a show with my baits yet. But it's so hard for me because I'm a custom bait company. I usually do custom stuff. No, I don't really stock stuff. Like, I, I should. Like, Rich from Isles Nest, he does stock stuff. He does, you know, and he has them. You order them. If it's not in, it's not in. Me, I order. You place an order with me exactly what you want, and then I make it for you. Um, I don't really stock too many colors. Um, I guess I could, but I, I don't feel the need uh, to do that yet. Uh, just because... I like the custom, the on, you know, the on hand type deal. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour this green in with the pink. And that's what I'm doing with that. So we got the green with the pink. And we're going to see what color that is. And this will be like an, almost like an oops color. And these will be cheaper probably, unless it's a great color that comes out of this. We'll see what happens. Never know. It might just turn into Oct 2. But the darker the color, the better too. So it doesn't matter. But we're going to put this together. And this can make, you can make crayfish out of this. The Sanko stick baits out of it. You know, stuff like that. So we're going to go 45 seconds. Oop, clear it. 45. Start it up. And we'll see what it looks like. Hey mom, how are you? Making some baits. Just making some pink ripper baits for a guy. And then I made some lime and pink laminates pretty bright and then i also made some little beetle bugs in fluorescent pink for somebody so but i just mixed up the green and the pink together i want to see what it looks like and then we're going to make some baits with that And this is more or less just like a goofy brown, pink and green. It's almost like a, it's almost like a uh, sage, a sage green color. So what I'm going to do is add a little something to it. So we have the sage green, and that's what that all just color came through. Sage green with the we're going to put copper we're going to use some copper flake in here sage green with copper that'll look good copper and black and we're going to add a little bit of black flake to this and I'm probably going to shoot something with it put some black in there some little bit of black we'll mix that in and see what that looks like It'll get darker just because of the color green. Okay. So that's like a darker sage green, which is a cool color. Don't get me wrong. It'll catch fish for sure. 
the green, copper, and green, copper, black, and we're gonna spice it up a bit. We're gonna take another Sanko, two Sankos here. We're gonna fire up a pack of these. And I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add the red in with that to give it a little bit of zing. So we're gonna add red with this as well. Where's the red? I think I'm gonna add a lot of red actually. I'm gonna put one scoop of red, two scoops of red. So we got the red, the copper, and the black flake in with this sage green. Let's see how that transforms. And that looks pretty good. Okay, so we're gonna mix this right now. We're gonna shoot it right now. Put the long green out. We're gonna shoot this color. This is like a sage green with a couple different flakes. The red, copper, and black flake. And these will be the uh these will be probably on sale for like five or six bucks a pack. Okay, let that sit and I'll show you the results of that. And then my only color, my only thing that I have to make next is the eye crawls and I won't be making them today. I'll probably make them this weekend for that. Let's see what I missed in the chat here. Indiana Chris, Indiana Chris, Carter, Bernadette, like those, okay, my mom's in here. That's my mom, Bernadette, so. I don't even know what time it is. But yeah, definitely go over, check out my website, check out my clothing store, my new clothing store. Hey, Skip Jack, what's up? Thank you for coming in, Cindy. Um, check out my store. There's this right here is brand new. It's got the off the hook on the sleeve. You can see that right there, off the hook outdoors. It's got this symbol here. Got it here, and Indiana Chris just shared the uh, off the hook debates. You want to watch me on Timu on TV? Go to Roku and download it for free. You can watch our uh, I'm with the American Angler uh, Network, so that's pretty cool. Um, and the baits, definitely. If you're interested in doing that, watch my videos because I do watch and win videos. All you gotta do is watch the video. And then you look at the timestamp whenever my logo pops out. Not all of them. You have to look for the symbol. It'll be a pair of eyes and say watch and win video. And you watch the video and then you put it in the, in the comment section. You put the timestamp when that logo pops up. And you get a chance to win stuff. Like baits, uh, fishing reels and things like that. Other different items. Uh, if anybody's interested in custom boxes. I do have boxes here that I fill up with my baits. If anybody wants one of these, they're 35 bucks. Plus shipping, so you get a, a Plano box. One, two, three, four, five, six different baits in here. That's 35 bucks plus shipping. If they're customized, it's 45 bucks. If you want custom colors in these, it's 45 bucks for a box. I also have Ned Rig kits. If you want Ned Rigs, I make Ned Rig kits. I need to get with somebody who makes jig heads for Ned Rigs. And uh, Joe's supposed to do that, but I know he's busy right now. But I'd like for Joe to make my Ned Rig kits uh, help me with the hooks to put the hooks in with along with my baits so but let's see what this say this green with the red and copper now this is a dark water color here now that's a cool color see that sage green worm with all the colors that's a darker water darker water lure for sure and we got i don't like how that shot so i'm gonna put that back in there I don't like it. I don't like how that one shot. We'll see how the other one shot. These ones look like they shot better. Yes, they shot way better. Okay, so there is the green. That's a, goof, a goofy color, but it's a green worm. And it's not a pumpkin, not a green pumpkin. It's not a brown. It's not a watermelon. But it's more on the verge of a green pumpkin than, than you think. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not green pumpkin, but it's sort of like that. And that is a copper, red, 
and black flake and that's a good color uh that'll be a dark water color probably for sure so and you could probably use that it's green is a natural color as well so i can't say that it wouldn't work in clear water either because browns work and that green would work just as well so let's shoot to another shot of these again but yeah these are Stop, there's uh, one, uh, uh, but that green color, that one will have what eight, that'll have 12 worms in a pack, and I'm going to sell them probably for about six or seven bucks if anybody's interested in that color, and that's a custom color, I don't even know the, I don't even know the ingredients on that one, so, you know, custom colors are, if you want a color, a specific color, you let me know, but I have, I tend to, once I do certain baits and I have colors together, I'll mix them to see what it is. And then usually I sell them for five, six, seven bucks a pack. So 12 of the worms of that green sage color, I'll sell them for six bucks. And then along with these other baits here, I'll use for giveaways or I'll sell them as well. This is a really cool color. It's sunfish color right here. That's a really cool color. That's 12 worms in a pack. That's, uh, I think that's eight bucks a pack right there. So, and then I got the purple. These are scented. This this is the coffee scent, the cappuccino, the purple with the gold flake. I got the purple, the brown. But if you look at them in the in the light, they're sort of like a greenish, like like the uh, blue crawl color. But that's purple flake with salt, heavy salt. I got the black and blue flake with the chartreuse tail. I got the natural. This is the uh, blue crawl stick bait, the pig sticks. Then I got the crawfish with the orange pinchers on it. That's that right there. Then I have a couple of neds as well. So we're going to do the old uh, mix this up. Get this out of here like that. Put that back in. And we're going to make some baits with that again. We're going to shoot another another couple of the baits there. But yeah, that's the beauty of uh, custom bait making as well. You can make whatever you want. And that's what I try to fall on. I, I, that's why I don't stock colors. Like I don't stock watermelon, purple, you know, black and blue flag. I don't stock any colors. Uh, I don't know if I should. If I go to a, store, uh, a show or something, I would make up, say, 10 packs of each or something and take them with me. But I'm more of a custom, custom bait uh, maker where you actually talk to me and we talk about what bait you want and what colors you want. And I prefer it that way. It's just like more hands-on with the customer. You know what I mean? So... That's why I, I prefer to do it that way. Put this in for another 10 seconds here. Okay. But I've always had good luck with the greens and the browns. My favorite color is the black and blue flake though. Really can't beat that color in my eyes. I catch a lot of fish on that color. Just holding it in there for a second. Let it fill up, get all the air out of it. You have 10 people in here, that's awesome. I'd like to get to 30 likes, guys, so share it out, or if you haven't hit that like button, please hit the like button. I'd like to get to about 30 likes today. And my thing fell in the water again. Take that out. Let that cool off. But there's uh, another thing I wanted to show you guys, is I have these pucks and that's what they call pucks and this is more of a bluegill i can do bone with a purple tail uh the bone the white like the bone with the purple just you mean like the like a fire tail i can do that i could probably do that the bone with the purple tail would probably work uh getting that bone color would be the uh and keeping it consistent throughout the baits would uh work for sure It'd be hard, but I can get the bone color for sure. I would just touch just what the what it what bone color is is it's white, uh, a lot of white with like a touch of like a 
brown dot and it gets that like off white not like a bright white but it's almost like an antique white and you got to put like a you can do either a black dot in there depending on the colors or a brown dot and it gets you that bone that off white color um but yeah i have like the purple pucks stuff like that and then i got the black and blue flake i got that sunfish color right here the purple so i'll be mixing and you can them pucks i can always remelt them yep yeah and you know because you mix your colors when you're doing your baits charlie it's it's pretty cool that's why i call it the bait lab because it's like you're testing everything out in the lab i really like that uh you know that you, that freedom of doing things like that and you mix colors up too for your baits as well and you have your standard colors but then there's also those colors that you know the custom colors where you got to look them up and match that color which is very cool the, what this green dad you're saying this would be a good color for the razor craw yeah that green wouldn't be bad Yeah, that green, that's a, that orange, that uh, blue crawl, yes, that blue crawl is a good color for, uh, for spring, like coming up for me in May. Uh, May is a really good time for me for fishing up at the lake. Uh, it's our first, you know, obviously our first month at the lake, and uh, sometimes I'm busy up there where I can't get the fishing in like I want to, but I'm going to make it a point this year to get out there in May and really, really hit the smallies hard with the crayfish and the stuff like that, so... And I think Shane Flint's tournament starts in May as well. So that'll be uh that'll be fun to do. So So let's get this uh I'm going to get this one cleaned up here guys. And since you said the razor crawls, I'm going to shoot a razor crawl and an eye crawl in that color and show you guys the color. This is a pain in the butt getting this uh, nozzle cleaned with this. If you don't have that, uh, it's hot and it stays soft, the, the plastic in it. So it gets to be a pain in the butt to clean out. So, so what I do is I take this and I run it through there like that. Boom. And then I take it off. My dog's barking at the neighbor again. We're going to put these off to the side. Clean them up a bit and get that plastic off. We're going to put the plastic back in. Put it on for 30 seconds. Put this up there. We're going to get the razor crawl out. And we're going to get the eye crawl out, I think. Where is the eye crawl? Okay. We're going to get the razor crawl out. We're going to get the eye crawl out. I'm going to shoot a bait for you and then we'll probably end it. So. Let's get this razor crow and I'll show you this. Clean this up a bit. Put this back in there a little longer. Remember guys, my uh, thing tonight is going to be at 7 p.m. Eastern. I have it on Facebook at 7.30 and 7 p.m. on my YouTube channel. So go over, check it out. It's how to fix your rod tip, how to add your rod tip. I used, I tied it in and then I used the uh, epoxy and it's a UV uh, epoxy. So go over, stop over, check it out for my premiere tonight. Okay, let's see here. Okay, we got this ready to roll. Mix this up really well here. We're going to shoot the razor crawl and the eye crawl. Real quick here. Use up some of that green plastic. And sometimes I do like a combination pack too. Like, like I'm making this razor crawl to show you. Uh, so sometimes I do this and then I'll just add them to another pack. 
uh, you know, like, a, like an assorted pack. So, you have that. And here, so we got the razor crawl shot and the eye crawl shot. So, we're going to let them set. And then I'll show you the results of them. And then we're probably going to go and get ready for work. I got to go to work today. What's really cool tonight, though, guys, is... My daughter is playing at my school tonight. She's playing actually our school. So I'll have my uniform on my, uh, her, she asked me who I'm going to cheer for. And of course I'm going to cheer for my daughter. I want her to do good. Fox Chapel is really good. And I'm hoping that, uh, our team, Oakland Catholic does well with them. So we'll see what happens. But as long as I watch my daughter and I see her getting better and better every game, that's the beauty of it. Uh, it doesn't really matter if they win or lose to me. As long as she's improving, that's all I care about. And she puts a lot of time and effort and hard work into it. So when I was little, I did way more work. <laughs> but she's got, she's natural. She's natural. She got it. Um, she's skinny, fast. Uh, she don't have the power, but she's learning now. She's hitting better and she's doing really well. So I'm really proud of her. Theo's playing good too. Uh, practice, but they have practice like every day of the week. So Saturday and Sunday, when I'm home with them, it's like, hey, let's go play baseball. They're like, eh, they don't want to do it during the week. You know what I mean? Um, because they do it all week. So Saturday, when I get a chance to see them, because I don't see them much during the week. 3 to 11.30 I work right now because I'm low man on the pool. So they're in school when I'm at home. They're up to my dad for doing it. all the crazy running around for me. Those kids wouldn't do half the stuff that was in for my dad. So I really appreciate that, Dad. You're here. So thank you for doing that for me. Um, this weekend, I'm hoping that our discs are ready from Kubota because we ordered some discs for our planting season, and they're taking forever to do it. So Kubota, if you're listening to me, hurry up and do our discs. Because we want them for planting season. I wanted them in April so we could lime. So, but that, I don't know if we're going to have time to lime because we got to do some other things down there for now. So, we'll see. But I can always run down there and lime with my dad another day or something like that. So, we'll see what happens. So, we're going to get ready to do, I'm going to show you this eye crawl here. Get this out and run in here. Let's show you the eye crawl. So here is the eye crawl. This is one of the most detailed lures, crawfish lures on the market. Uh, this mold is just unbelievable. So there is the eye crawl. Can you see that? Let me get these pinchers off of there. But it's got everything you you need in a crawl. Look at that right there. So that is the crawfish right there the bottom of it and the top of it very awesome detailed bait so that is the eye crawl now let me put that back here now we're going to go to the we're going to go to the uh yeah that crayfish is really detailed chris now this is the razor crawl this is my razor crawl here it's a different mold this is an ai mold not a duo mold ai makes some great molds as well and here is the eye crawl That's the eye crawl, or that's the razor crawl, I'm sorry, eye crawl. So let me show you this, this one here. And that actually does look good in that, in that crayfish color, this, this green. It makes it look really nice. It almost looks like it's molten, molting. So there is the eye crawl. Put that like that. Put that like that. And there is the eye crawls. Right there, guys. Look at that. That is the eye crawl, bottom, top. So that is the eye crawl. I almost dropped it on the floor. Once I drop them on the floor, I throw them out because they get dirty. <laughs> so, but that's got a cure. We're gonna let that cure now. And uh, and that's it, guys. That's what I'm gonna end it here. With that, we got ten people in here. So thank you. I gotta head to work, but I appreciate each and every one of you guys for uh, spending some time with me today. I appreciate your support. If anybody's interested in buying any of the baits that I made here today, please contact me on my email at tedpolonowskijr.com or at gmail.com. 
Uh, check out my website at offthehookoutdoors.us. Uh, check out my clothing line of, in the stores. Uh, you know, I'm really it really helps the channel if people go over. We have the hats. We're going to have new hats on her. I'm going to have visors eventually. I'm going to have some signature shirts with sayings like see ya, get the net, uh, stuff like that. So uh, I just wanted to say thank you guys for coming in today. I really, really do appreciate you. Go over, check out my description, browse through all the information I have on her. I spend a lot of time on my descriptions so you guys can know what's going on and if you guys are interested in buying anything and like i said that all helps the channel if anybody's interested in donating to the channel i have my venmo and paypal on there it all goes right back into the channel for bait making products and things like that cameras and so such things that we use here at off the hook outdoors and like i always say take a kid fishing or hunting we want to preserve our sport and pass it on to future generations and we will see you